a mystery box, and a giveaway. What's up, everybody? I'm Tylock, and this is Homespun Geek. What's up guys? It is the official 800 subscriber giveaway announcement. This is going to be the day that we start the final countdown to the giveaway because I'm actually going to pick the winner one week from today guys. So this is Sunday. So next Sunday I will be picking the winner of the 800 subscriber giveaways or should I say winners because there are going to be three winners of the 800 subscriber giveaway. But before we get into all of that guys, I am going to recap all three giveaways. Before we get into that guys, I'm going to open a Poptopia mystery box. $25 Poptopia mystery box, guys. Number 80 right here on the top. Uh, May 9th was when it says we got this. We always write the date on the end. And then I kind of hold back on these Poptopia mystery boxes to kind of just randomly open. You know, if I buy three in a week, I don't want to open all three in one week. I'll just open like one a week. So, uh, but yeah, so this is a $25 mystery box. There is a chance, guys, at a Chase, an exclusive, or a Grail. Hopefully we get a grail. I would really like something amazing in this box. If not, guys, at least it's a decent exclusive or a decent chase that maybe I don't have. But if it's a duplicate, it may go into another pile of giveaway items. So, uh, all right, guys. So let's go ahead and dig into this. Like I said, $25 is how much this costs. It is two pops. One pop is usually just a common. One pop is a chase or an exclusive or something else that is amazing, like in a vaulted grail or something like that. Something worth quite a bit of money. So, um, all right, guys. So I'm going to pull these out. They're usually covered in brown paper. Here is an example of that right there. Uh, and then there's a piece of paper right here that tells you what you got, so I'm not going to look at that because I don't want spoilers. Uh, so here is a box right here. This is what I'm talking about. Covered in brown paper. Uh, you feel on the ends, guys. On one end, there's a stick-it note. That stick-it note indicates that this is the special item, the chase, the exclusive, the grail. The other one should not have a stick-it note on the end of it. Uh, nope, not on this end and not on this end okay another great thing guys about poptopia poptopia.us if you guys wanted to look at them um is that they always ship in pop shields which is awesome because even if they send me a common or pop shield i can always take it out and put it on something that i need a pop shield on so uh but so anyway guys we're gonna open this one first because we know this is the common pop or the not so special pop uh and uh then we'll open that one and see what it is all right guys so let me face you guys. Here we go. What is that? Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's actually awesome. Okay, I saw that, and I it does not look like a like a puppet from the back or a doll from the back. It looks like a person, and I could not figure out who that was. But okay, that is Tiffany from Bride of Chucky. Uh, this is a great common to get in this box. I do not have Tiffany. I do have Chucky, but I do not have Tiffany. Shree loves Bride of Chucky. She thinks it's a terrific movie. Uh, so this is one that we will definitely be keeping in our collection. Uh, yeah, that's a good one to get. Uh, really, really like it. Really, really like the Chucky movies. Uh, Child's Play 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Bride of Chucky. Son of Chucky, not so much. That was a weird movie. Uh, but the last couple of ones, and I'm look I'm really looking forward to the one that's coming out, the like reboot. Uh, although I don't know how I feel about it because I believe in this new movie, Chucky is an AI doll and it's like the AI gone crazy instead of like the uh, possession of a serial killer in a doll. So, uh, but that made sense because he needed the child's body to transfer his consciousness to out of the doll. Uh, so what is the purpose of the AI killing people uh, or trying to get to the children, I guess? I, I don't know. So anyway, guys, yeah, definitely going to be cool to have this in a collection. Bride of Chucky, uh, that's not even a recent pop, so that's kind of cool. Sometimes they throw a lot of recent stuff in here. Uh, at least it's not K-pop, you know. So, uh, all right, guys, so... Stick it note is on this side. This is the exclusive. This is the chase. This is the grail. Whatever. It's one of those. So whichever one it is, this is it, guys. So I'm trying to figure out how to turn this. All right. There you go, guys. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I have seen so many people pull this Bob Ross chase out. Oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. That's the Bob Ross chase with Hoot. That's the owl. Uh, I believe the comment he has a, a different animal in there. Uh, maybe even a different painting uh i this is awesome i actually really wanted this believe it or not guys uh yes 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 that is super cool bob ross with hoot uh that is the bob ross chase guys that's a great pull out of this box uh two great pops out of the poptopia box 25 dollars for the bob ross chase and tiffany from bride of chucky not bad, not bad, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna look up the values on these pops and we'll just see kind of where we came in at as far as our uh, our money that we spent on, on this box. $25 was the box. You know, I'm sure this is gonna be probably valued at least at $25, but we'll, we'll see here. All right, guys, so Bob Ross, the chase here, I was right, the other pops uh, have him with a raccoon instead of an owl. Uh, this one, guys, is valued at $15. Now, let me look at Tiffany. All right, guys, so Tiffany is actually valued at $8. So 15 plus 8 is a little bit of a loss. It's a $2 loss, but I am not going to complain because I have wanted this Bob Ross chase ever since I saw the people pulling it out of boxes. Uh, I think this is a really, really cool pull. I actually also really like Tiffany. And even though... It says Tiffany's worth $8. If I bought her at store, it probably would have been $10, $11, depending on what store you buy her in. Uh, so it's really not that much of a loss. It's just a depreciated value loss. She's only eight as opposed to what she was selling at originally, which would have probably been about 10. So uh, really that's not a loss, honestly. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, guys. $25, Bob Ross Chase, Tiffany from Child's Player, Bride of Chucky. Uh, that's a really cool one. I like the back of this, guys. Though I did, that's what had me the most confused when I opened this, because I have, it looks, it looks like it's from a movie or it's just a person. I don't know, uh, but yeah. And uh, then uh, of course Bob Ross. Look at that, guys. Awesome. All right. On to the giveaway information, guys. Let me close my knife up before I stab myself in the hand. Uh, on to the giveaway information, guys. All right, guys, so today is June the 9th, so one week from today will be June the 16th. That is the day that I will be pulling the three winners for my giveaway. Uh, as I have said, guys, uh, there are three winners. Let me cover the three different giveaways real quick, guys. Now, because we did get the collecting couple up to 600, uh, I did add a third giveaway. Let's do that one first. Uh, the third giveaway that I had just added, guys, was Angela and Monterey Jack, two pops. Uh, going to one person as well as this crochet egg from Cherie. That's the Yoshi egg. Uh, yeah, all three of those things will be going to one person because you guys did something for me by helping get the collecting couple to 600. I will say, guys, I think they're they're one below at 599. So if anybody's watching this and just wants to go over and throw some some support their way, uh, I'm sure they could really use it. They'd really appreciate it, guys. Let's get them back up to 600. Uh, but since you guys did actually get them to 600, I actually think they went a little over 601, 602. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, honor what I said with the giveaway uh, and uh, we'll go send that out to a third person guys so then there is a, another giveaway guys uh, one pop that I announced in a previous video again not gonna tell you which video that is guys if you want to know how to enter for this giveaway for this pop then you're gonna have to go back and watch my videos over the past few weeks guys uh, because in one of my videos I asked you guys to hashtag something and uh, it was for the Fraggle Rock Toys R Us exclusive Sprocket. Uh, I've had this guy for a little while. We actually bought him about a week before our, to our Toys R Us went out of business. And uh, I bought two of them because it says Toys R Us on it. And I was kind of feeling nostalgic. Like, oh, Toys R Us is going to go out of business. And I hate to not have you know, these pops that have the Toys R Us sticker. So we bought two of those and several other Toys R Us <laughs> exclusives. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, I was originally thinking maybe this one will blow up in value and I can just sell it, but I decided I'm not even gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna give it to one of you guys. So Sprocket, that is what I have. That is what I'm gonna give to you guys. Uh, all right, so then there is the final giveaway. This is the big box, guys. I call this the Homespun Geek Big Box. 
I don't know. I don't ever call it that, but I'm going to call it that this time. So uh, anyway, guys, so lots of stuff in one big box going to one person. All right, guys, let's go through this real quick. The first thing I added in this big box was this Chibi Snaps Ninja Turtles. It says it has two Chibi Snaps plus one 3D sticker in every pack. I don't know what that is. I've never opened one of these before, but I like to send something kind of mystery out to you guys. Then the week after that, guys, I added the Nickelodeon Mystery Minis. Two of these, unopened, still with the plastic on there, guys. There's lots of possibilities on here. Ren and Stimpy, uh... Rocco, the Angry Beavers, Cat Dog, Hey Arnold, Oblina, Chucky, Tommy Pickles, and Eliza and Nigel Thornberry uh, from the Wild Thornberries. A uh, couple of those are very rare. I believe the Angry Beavers are 1 in 72. Uh, then the next week, guys, I showed you the pop that I'm going to add into this. It is the Buzz Off Masters of the Universe. Animal City Comic Con exclusive. Uh, awesome pop. Possibly the last ever Masters of the Universe pop. Hopefully not because I'm a Masters of the Universe collector. That's what you see probably behind me here. Uh, hopefully this isn't the last one. But if it is... There you go, guys. There's your opportunity to get it in this giveaway. Then we added the crochet item, as you guys know, every week. Or every week. Every milestone, guys. Cherie crochet stuff for me to give away to you guys to go along with the theme. And this time it is Cringer, also from Masters of the Universe, guys. Uh, that is Cringer from Masters of the Universe. This is Battle Cat when he's not Battle Cat. And just in case anybody didn't know... That's who that is. Cringer is from Masters of the Universe. He is He-Man's pet, or Prince Adam's pet, and He-Man's pet. And he becomes Battle Cat when He-Man, be or when Prince Adam becomes He-Man. Woo! That's hard to say. Uh, Alright guys, so then we showed you guys the Rock Candy. That is Betty Rubble. And, as I said, Betty Rubble will not be complete without her friend, Wilma Flintstone. So both of these rock candies will be going to one person as well as all of that. So one pop, two mystery minis, two rock candies, one crochet item, and one chibi snaps mystery packet, guys. So all of that is going to one person. Then the collecting couple giveaway, guys. This is the collecting couple giveaway all going to another person. And then Sprocket from Fraggle Rock will be going to a third person person guys so uh, a third individual will be getting a pop from Fraggle Rock uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to enter that guys if you want to know you're gonna have to go back look through and uh, figure it out guys anyway guys that is it three giveaways will be decided next week one week from today guys uh, so make sure you do what you need to do guys I will put kind of the instructions for the two giveaways in the comment section below or in the description below I should say uh, basically guys you go to my support Saturdays I sponsor two videos every week guys on support Saturdays you go to those videos you comment hashtag homespun road to 800 uh, and I will pick two of those videos to determine two of these giveaways and then I'll do a random comment picker from those two videos guys so uh, and then the last one guys Fraggle Rock like I said it's in one of my previous videos from the past few weeks so you're gonna have to go check it out find it guys so anyway that's it guys one week from today 800 subscriber will be picked two cool pops from Poptopia thank you very much Poptopia I love doing the Poptopia boxes I love doing Poptopia I will highly recommend them I am not sponsored by Poptopia in any way guys but I will highly recommend them to anybody looking to do their first mystery box because you almost always get a good value you always get an exclusive or a chase guaranteed so uh, if you buy the $25 boxes if you buy the 10 or $11 boxes that could be anything but still 10 or $11 is still a pop so that's the same price so you almost always break even with Poptopia because uh, they always promise you good stuff in their boxes so anyway guys tell me what you think about those two pops Bob Ross and Tiffany in the comments below I'd like to hear what you have to say tell me what you think about the giveaway guys I'd like to know if you guys like this if you think it's a good giveaway Next week, guys, Support Saturday will be the very first hashtag homespun road to 900 Support Saturday, and I will be showing you guys the very first item in the 900 subscriber giveaway, maybe the 850 subscriber giveaway. I have not decided yet. So, uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do, guys. Next week, new items to be given away starting with Support Saturday. So, all right, guys, that's everything. As always, I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek. And I hope you 
Have a nice day.